good morning guys welcome to today's video it is work time on the farm it's cold out but it's sunny and sunny it makes you feel good sam finished fixing my water feeder it does not Ooh, touched it oopsie it doesn't look good but it's gonna work good nature's washcloth you guys weeds you need to wipe your butt if you need to wash your finger oh you touch it update on the kirby alley situation it's going a lot better kirby. kirby wants to play with her now but she doesn't attack her <laughs> or at least that's what i thought <laughs> storm's laying down sam says i can't even find him where oh <laughs> that's where he always lays if i go in there he's just gonna stand up but i'm gonna try and go in there but isn't that crazy how much you love that your horse just laying in his hay Wasting the hay, having a nap. It actually kind of feels like spring right now. I'm so, so excited for spring. It's not even winter yet. Oh, and I'm so excited for spring. Don't come to me. I want to go in there and see Stormy. I have no treat. Go find your dad. Aww. What a handsome boy. Don't get up on my account. I don't need you. Baby, wow, you look don't bother him. You look chubby. Look how cute you are. Uh oh, this is not going well for me. <laughs> Suddenly, I'm surrounded. <laughs> I got one, two, three, four, five. That's what I don't like. Come on now. It's all your fault, lady. And I know it's her fault because she, she's food motivated in a huge way. Wow, you guys all need a brush. Storm. You look so cute. He's like, you're interfering with my nap. I hardly ever see Penny sleep. She sleeps at night. Don't bother him. <laughs> yep. <laughs> We're here with you. What the heck, man? <laughs> Penny literally doesn't like me touching any other horse or being near any other animal. And I know it's because she thinks that I have food and she wants all the food just for her. But she recognizes me. She recognizes me as her food. So I've done my job. <laughs> Hi, baby. I know, everybody's jealous. It's a jealous world out there, Stormy boy. Wow. I could literally sit on him right now and then he'd stand up and I'd be riding. Hi, big guy. Look at how cute he looks. I'm gonna take a picture with him. This is like so brave of me. Say cheese. Sam's watching. Are you watching in case I die? Yeah. Okay, save me if I die. For the accident report. What? So he can put it on the accident report. It's so sunny out here. Oh, you're so sweet. You are. Look at how sweet he is. Yeah. I'd love to just lay with him. I'm just not that brave. <laughs> He's so annoyed. He's like, stop bothering me. Wow. You're so handsome. I'm sorry you're stuck with all women. <laughs> Sam is the same life. <laughs> because women are, women can be annoying to a man. Wow, you guys all need a brush. That's going to have to be on the agenda today. After all that rain. Oh, you're so cute. I love him. I love a horse laying down. I've never got to do this with Penny. Or even with Lady. <laughs> Sam's still watching me. He's like, yeah, I know this is going to go bad. Oops. I'll be back, Penny Pickle. I promise. <laughs> She's like, no, stay here now. I didn't get any treats. <sighs> be nice. Be nice. Watch. Come here. I don't have any treats, but let's see if she kisses me. That's how she asks me for food. Imagine your kids did that, though. They just came up and kissed you. <laughs> the kisses just get harder and harder. <laughs> She's like... Food. Uh oh. 
I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. Anyway, welcome to today's video. It's so sunny out here. Sunny is hard for videoing, but so good for my spirit. I'm one of those people who get seasonal activity disorder. Come on. Seasonal, what is it? Seasonal, I don't know. When it's dark out, I do not feel my best. But I do see the value in four different seasons. With winter coming up, I see the value in like a rest period, the time for the earth to rest and us to rest and for the animals to grow their babies. Hi, handsome. Look at how friendly he is now. It just took him, it just took him months to get used to us. He's growing skurs though. Skurs are horns. His horns were burned off, but because he's a buck and he has all these hormones, like he's just such a fighter. I think you did your job though. I'm surrounded. Surrounded by testosterone, you guys. Oh my goodness, I'm a boy magnet. <laughs> Don't bother my puppy. Ellie likes to sit on my lap so that she can charge anybody if they come near me. I'm coming in, Sam. Yeah, you're so sweet. And you're so sweet. All the ones that were not sweet. Oh, he kisses. All the animals that were not friendly when they came here are friendly now. And you've always been friendly. So he has a little bump still there. It's a scab. It's not like actual fluid or anything. It's all gone down, but he has like a big scab there. I don't want to pull it off because for a lot of reasons, but I don't want to make like another sore there because I don't want him to get any bacteria in there. But he's still doing good. He's healthy and strong. He has a, it was just a tiny little cut on the surface, but his scab is huge. Hi, handsome. I cannot wait to see my babies, you guys. Like, I want such cute babies with lots of chrome. I want them to have lots of white on them. I want them to be super splashy. And goats, chrome is called overlay, white overlay. So I want them to be like him, but their own colors. Like, I want them to be different colors with a lot of, I want like a little baby cow. That's my hope. A little on the aggressive side, though. <laughs> I don't know. I think he's kind of weird. Stop! Why are you acting so crazy? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Goats are honestly wild. Get some goats, Sam said. Here, I'm gonna buy him I'm gonna buy you some goats. Then he buys them and gives them to us and walks away. <laughs> okay, chill. Stop. Stop. He looks like Donald Trump though. Doesn't he look like Donald Trump with that orange puff of hair on the top of his head? <laughs> so funny. We should have called him Donald. We misnamed you. So when I bought him, I bought him for a very specific for a very specific reason. Oh look. It's nap time. It's baby nap time. Oh, you guys. The queen of the castle on her table, on her throne, and then her humble servant behind her, and then all the peasants down at the bottom of the hill. Okay. All right, they're up. But anyways, so when I bought the boy, I bought him with the idea that I want to breed registered goats. Kirby's afraid. She's like, come on. Boy, she's afraid of the girl. She's what? <coughs> she chases the boys, but she's afraid of the girl. Well, no wonder. Girls are crazy, man. <coughs> Anyways, so my idea is that I was going to breed him to my registered does. I only have two does that aren't registered. So I only have two unregistered does left, and I have two registered does. And so I bought him to breed to my registered does. Both my registered does don't have horns. They don't grow horns. So you don't want to... Typically when you breed goats, everybody's terrified. <laughs> so typically when you breed goats, you breed polled, which means they don't grow horns, with horned. So that there's some problems like hermaphrodite, just genetic issues that can happen when you breed 
pulled to pulled. So when I bought him, even though I really wanted blue eyes and even though I really wanted no horns, I had to get a horned goat to breed to my not horned goats, if that makes sense. So that's my goal with him. If his babies don't turn out really nice, then I might rehome him and try again. That's what the beauty of breeding goats is like. You can try and if it doesn't work out, if he doesn't produce really nice babies, then I can start fresh with another, with another buck and then he can go on and improve somebody else's line. But we're at the very beginning of that journey. Do you remember when po oh, P Posey's licking nice her? I know. Oh. You get a regular picnic table and put it here. All right, get a regular picnic table, put it there, and I'll sit in the sun. I feel like Ellie forgets how close she was with Posey. I have a video, I haven't posted it yet, of Posey and Ellie this summer, and they were playing together. Uh oh, uh oh, <laughs> don't lay on the dog. That's one of the things you have to be careful about. Like, so when you have, when we have baby goats, you have to be like so careful when with pigs, you can't have pigs in with your baby goats. I mean, lots of people do, but there's a risk because pigs will, if they want to lay down and be warm and snuggle up to something, they might snuggle up to a baby goat and they just drop. You see how P Posey just drops and they just drop and it can squish a baby goat and pigs have sometimes killed baby goats and she's not like a huge pig but she's definitely bigger than a baby goat so i don't know what we're gonna do sam and i are still working on that so i need to we need to like we need two pig pens we need two pig pens sam one for the boy one for the girl and they could be like next to each other across the fence from each other but i don't want her to be lonely i don't want him to be lonely i don't know we didn't think out the pig thing very well i mean i always knew i wanted a pig and i'm really glad that i have them don't know what we're gonna do with them. Molly never was like a herding dog. She never ever was like really driven. And she came from herding stock. She didn't come from like show stock. She came from herding stock. But this dog, I noticed that she really likes to, she's gonna be the one that wants to herd the, the goats. Hot pose. We're just sitting here having, having a, Having a pet fest. I'm just petting her. Uh-oh. <laughs> She's definitely nervous, though. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, I'd be nervous, too. She's got horns. I know. She's big and chunky. Yeah, She's, like, though. double the size of... Triple the size of you. <laughs> I know, but I don't want her to do that. I mean, it would be nice not to have a, a dog that's afraid of the goats. But I don't want her to, like... Be annoying either. Uh oh, Lola's going. <laughs> she comes back. She's like, help! And Ellie's the same way. Be friendly with your pig. You're the only real friend she has, Ellie. You guys grew up together. Do you guys remember them growing up together? It like warmed my heart. I filmed it so many times. Them running together. Like it makes me miss that Posey's not a baby. I'm, I'm so sad she's not a baby anymore. Uh oh. <laughs> a dog. She's <laughs> she's so funny. She like she's afraid, but she's not like so super afraid. Not like everybody not like the other dogs are terrified. But look at them, they're all watching her and she's over there in the corner. She's like, come get me, I dare you. Yeah, the pig's over there. Oh, here she comes. See? Yeah, she she knows though. She's got the instinct for sure. The running the running away instinct. Just joking. <laughs> That's the one I'd be afraid of, that big white one. Oh, even Posey was gonna bite her. Why be mean, Posey? You like dogs. So I refilled these with poison. Because you know we have to check every so do we have a problem? Oh, do we have a problem with mice? I don't know. I haven't seen any yet, but we have a problem with chipmunks. Chipmunks. If you live on the day by day farm and you own a car, then this will be your spring and your fall project. Gabby helps Sam change her tires every single season. Are you ready for winter driving? And there's your dad <laughs> on my pool noodle on my pool thing don't wreck it 
It's my comfy nest thing. Yeah, we should market that. We should like make these and market them for mechanics. Gabby tells them what to do. She's she's in charge. Go get the thing. Look how little our poop pile is now. I don't know how we've came, come to this, me showing you our poop pile, but people come every week, take the poop. It has been a working. But if you guys think Gabby's just a pretty face and a smart brain, then you'd be wrong. She's also part mechanic. That's dangerous. And there's Lady. I can tell it's her because she always be looking, standing at the gate, just in case somebody be walking along to give her a treat. I bet you she's never had real treats before. To be honest, we're lucky to have Gabby because she gets that stuff and she knows how to do it. I don't even know how to pump gas. I'm not even joking. Gabby pumps my gas or else Sam pumps my gas. So yeah, 